Good day guys, this is Practifile and today we are going to have an unboxing and short impressions with uh, K-Bear King Long. I'd like to thank Keep Hi-Fi for managing this uh, review sample and also to my friend Marcus for giving me the opportunity to review this set because he mentioned that he didn't have much time and so he forwarded uh, these sets to me along with the other sets. I think it's the dumpling and the roast finch um, But this one's the bigger the bigger one. So let me you know Let me try to unbox this and after that we're gonna graph it there so to see channel balance and and uh, Well, I've cheated a bit. I've seen the graph of this and yeah, I'll tell you later what I found. Uh, this is plastics. So here's the box anyway. Oh, okay, there we go. All right, you can see that there. Very nice though. Can I put that there? Nope. There. Place there. Okay, and then, 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 then. Okay, how did I take them off? Ah. Uh, Okay, look at that. Look at that. Very silvery. Ah, it looks like the <laughs> TOTL. I just reviewed the Cadenza, Letcher Cadenza, because very pretty. Very pretty. Very nice. Nothing in here. Alright, nothing. And oh, it comes with the uh, A Bear box. Similar to the ones I had. What was that? The Tri? Uh, HBB try it's similar so this is yeah the case here nothing inside and yes we get the cables looks fine it feels fine oh they're they're thicker though do I have this cable similar to the pandamon I mean the texture of the, the cables is similar to the pandamon but these ones are thicker and I believe these are the ear tips here uh where do I start uh Okay, so maybe I'll just put the pins first. Left is blue and red is right. Oh man, the build in these are pretty pretty good. Silver. Nice. Silver, silver. I don't want to scratch it. This one's cleaning, cleaning. Oh, okay. There's a cleaning tool here. And we've got like a cleaning cloth as well. What ear tips do I use? I can't see what's inside though, so let's just open this up. I'll try wide bores in these though. Like, oh, okay. Wide bore. Let's move on to listening impressions this time. They feel light actually. Very light. So, let's try this. I have my M3X here as always. I am so sorry guys. Um, there was a problem with the mic on this recording on that recording and i don't know what happened there's just like a lot of distortion and stuff going on so uh yeah but to to make a summary of that uh i made a summary i didn't really edit the whole video because i thought that you know the the mic was just so distracting so here is the excerpt for that uh, <clears throat> uh i don't know like Eh? Something's off. Like the tem timbre is a bit off on instrument. Treble is muted. Like the, the, the first three hits of the snare, uh, like the drum counts, it's strange. Yeah, cymbal sounds a bit far. A lack on texture on vocals. Yeah, the guitars really sound off. Like the presence region, I don't know, there's a dip there or it starts to decline from there. It just lack the edginess. It's strange. Like the guitars <laughs> because that sounds like a nylon string, which they're not. For now, let's let's score this one. Finality, I don't know, man. Like 1.5. This is fine. Two. Mids. Oh my god, my guitar is 1.5. Treble. 1.5. Text. Maybe I'll give it a 2, it's fine. 8.5, uh, 8.5 should be C. Yeah, it's a C. Right, so this video is not gonna be my first impression. So 
I'm just gonna make this my final review of the K-Bear King Long. So let me put up the graphs right here. Okay, and as you can see, it really resembles the uh, Shimin Lee upper mids. They resemble a lot because when I saw the graphs, I, I was like, oh, okay, this is really similar to the Shimin Lee. Although the K Bear King Long has a ton of bass compared to Shimin Lee. Shimin Lee comes off a little tighter in, in the lower region. Yeah, some people say that the treble here is muted. Probably, but because of the lean base, it, it still is able to extract some details, but not with not with the King Long, unfortunately. It's just, it, it's strange. The tonality is strange. It's muted and it's affecting everything. It's affecting the tambourine vocals, instruments, and it, it's just a strange sounding set. It's like, it's not natural. And <laughs> not natural is even an understatement. I'm sorry, K Bear, for selling this um this priced at what 58 bucks and man it's it's not cheap for, for a budget i'm not sure maybe they can improve this better with this kind of driver i think it's a pu plus something driver pu p e e k or something like that but yeah i mean even the uh, tin hi-fi c2 and even the tin hi-fi c2 warrior for me like i'd choose the c2 warrior over the uh, k bear King Long. I do have some Kaber set. I have the KS1, their budget model before, and I've reviewed the Little Q. I recently tried the Rose Finch and the Dumpling as well, but the King Long just, just doesn't do it for me. It's just for 58 bucks, you can buy yeah the C2 or even like the budget set offerings right now, like the Tangzu One Er. There's also Gimlet at that price, and the the Pandemon, um, like even the Kai. Like, or, or some KZ stuff is, is better than the King Long. I, I don't know what they did, but yeah, it's just, I don't know, like, what can I say? This is, so I, I scored this and I think I gave it a C. <laughs> I gave it a C um, and it, it's not changing. Um, like I tried burning it in, so don't tell me that it might improve. No, it, it did improve. Try different ear tips. Just, just the timbre is really off for me. I tried using the wide board tips because, you know, like to increase that treble, but no, I, I didn't get anything. But the, it's just really a strange sounding I am. But the looks are good. If you're into looks, I don't know, but I don't really suggest doing that. Um, better luck next time, K-Bear. There are really better sets compared to this. So yeah, I'm excited to, to hear what their improvements are on these. I think that's it. Um, can't say much. So again, to summarize, the bass is it's muddy. It doesn't have enough texture. Mids can be fine. I mean, like it, during like relaxed tracks or not so busy tracks, they might sound natural to some. But the the selection of the genre is very limited. Really, doesn't really come out shouty. But I don't know. Just the treble in general is affecting the overall timbre on this. I am. So that's it for my review guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my video and subscribe to my channel if you want. Um, so yeah, peace out. Bye!